Hey YouTube, Hot Monkey here. Thanks for joining me in another PC Tips and Tricks tutorial. If you're a Windows Live Movie Maker user, then at one time you probably wanted to put a visual overlay in your video. I'm talking about the additional images or video clips you wanted to put over your primary video layer. Now you can find a how-to video for anything these days, but unfortunately not for this one. That's because the newer version of Windows Movie Maker called Live Movie Maker doesn't include this editing option. In older versions there were ways to import another image like a logo or a watermark, but in this one, trust me, I've tried everything and it just can't be done. Fortunately there is an alternative in the Microsoft box of tools and it involves another program that you can download for free from the official Microsoft website. It's called Microsoft Expressions Encoder and you can download it by clicking on the link in the description of this video. Once you install it, it's going to be fairly simple to add an overlay to a specific video and then continue editing it using Live Movie Maker. So let's get to it and see how this is done. Okay, so first off we're going to open Expression Encoder, which you hopefully downloaded and installed. Now we're going to click on Transcoding Project. And we're going to import a video by going to File, and then Import. And now we're going to browse for the video that we want to edit. For the purposes of this video, I'm just going to use this wildlife sample video. Select it and click Open. Okay, so now that it's in our encoder, we want to add a visual overlay. So we're going to do that by going to our right hand side, click on the Enhance tab, and just in case you can't see this tab, then go up to Window and make sure that there's a check mark next to Enhance. So again, we're going to go to Enhance, and we're going to scroll down to Visual Overlay, and we're going to check the box next to Add Overlay. Now it's automatically going to open a dialog box where we have to browse for the certain video or image that we want to set as our overlay. So for now I'm going to choose a transparent image of a smiley face. I'm simply going to select it and click open. Now as you can see it's added as a overlay to my video. Okay so now I'm going to adjust a few things. First off I don't like the size of my overlay. I want to sort of use it as a logo. So I'm going to scale it down to a smaller size by clicking on the green border and just scaling it to the size that I like. I think that's just about right. Second off, I don't like the position of my overlay. I want it to be displayed in my top right corner. So I'm simply going to click on it and drag it up there. And there it is. Okay, so down here on the overlay layer, we can see that it's displayed over the whole video. We may want that, and in case we do, we're just going to leave it like this. But in my case, I want my overlay to be shown just at the beginning of the video. So I'm going to click on the layer, click on the end of it, and just scale it down. And make it last this long. But I don't want my overlay to be shown when the video starts. I want to reposition it to a, another part of the video. So I'm going to click on it and just move it where I want it to start. Now right there is just about fine. Now let's see how the video looks like. There it is. Now, as you were able to see, the overlay just kind of pops out and then disappears in a second. I don't want that. I want it to sort of fade in and then slowly fade out. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to my right hand side again, to my visual overlay section, and I'm going to scroll down and click here for advanced properties. Now I'm going to scroll down a little bit more and go to the fade duration section. 
And I'm going to make it to fade in in about one second and fade out in one second as well. Now let's see how this looks like. Nice. As you can see, it just faded in and now it slowly faded out. So to add a video overlay, it's the exact same process. Just click on Add Overlay, browse for your video. Again, I'm just going to use the same video. You can add it in there and manipulate it any way you want. Now, the downside to this is that you can only use one overlay per video. So it's good for adding some face cam recordings over gameplay footage or for adding a watermark or a logo to your video. But if you want to do some serious editing with overlays, then you should probably look into programs like Adobe Premiere or Sony Vegas. As for this program, when you finish editing, you want to save it. And you're going to do that by going over to Presets. And if you don't see this tab, and go to Window and make sure that there's a check mark next to Presets. And you're going to click next to Encoding Quality. You're going to choose the best quality and then click Apply. Now we're going to go down to Media Content, click on it, and then click Encode. It's like watching paint dry. So I'm going to pause this so that you don't have to watch it. Once it's done encoding, we can import it to Windows Live Movie Maker and continue editing it there. Now, when it comes to using overlays, and any kind of video editing for that matter, there are a lot of alternatives to Windows Live Movie Maker, but the thing is, you have to pay for most of them. In this video, I just wanted to show you a really simple and free method for inserting overlays, after which you can continue editing in your Windows Movie Maker. So there you have it. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you found this video helpful or you simply enjoyed watching it, be sure to subscribe for more. Bye.